include him as he doesn't get talked about a lot. <laughs> but he, he looks just like his daddy. Um, I, you know, I've heard rumors for years about the Smiths having an open relationship from like, even like as long as 15 years ago, having an open relationship where they can be married and then do whatever they want on the side. But that was kind of a dangerous type of rumor because it creates a lot of innuendo, a lot of imaginations could run without any proof or evidence. And I haven't heard or seen any real evidence other than speculation, which people will have anyway. So you don't take that too seriously. Um, the image that you see the Smiths as a great American black family. You see quirks with the kids like Jaden and Willow. Um, their way of uh, living is kind of like they're always on some kind of journey spiritually or you could say if you don't think it's spiritual you might say and they're looking for enlightenment in different forms whatever it is Tra Will likes to travel around the world Jada likes to keep it local um, Will Smith has reinvented himself many times in terms of just the way he is as a movie star and um, the projects that he chooses to take but then you have Jada who kind of stepped aside when she was kind of hot in the 90s she kind of stepped aside to be the wife and kind of put her career on hold for Will Smith but then she's had different resurgences she's been in Gotham Hawthorne was a show that was on for three years I believe but then you have the Red Table Talk, which is to me her greatest work in in terms of a, a world without the Oprah show. Um, she actually has that same kind of knack that most people don't have, that that um, inviting comfort type of uh, vibe where you can talk to her about anything you want to talk about. Um, she brings current celebrities on if there's recent issues or dramas that happen she can bring them right on and this is an internet show but it's kind of reinvented it's not like she needs uh, a, a prime time or daytime machine like abc or nbc to house her show but like i said earlier in the video you heard in your windows and rumors about the relationship i don't care about their relationship because i'm not in it um but some fruits of this relationship was R&B singer August Alstina. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right because I definitely never understood. And see, it's not a disrespect if I don't know a certain person's career or history. I'm usually good at that type of thing. But when it comes to him, I just never understood him getting any kind of attention. I don't know what he's famous for. I honestly don't. Um, I looked him up and he has about six billboard entries. His highest entry was 27 on the billboard charts. Everything else is like charting in 90s, 80s, and things like that. But that's not really a, a estimation of somebody's success. I mean, he at least he charted. But I, I'm like looking at like how the 80s was and you have big stars that selling millions and millions of records and making big waves but nowadays it's these people that make millions of dollars and they just perform at festivals all year and make their money on tour and this and that but I just noticed him when they start talking about his his issues like he had kind of like breakdowns and different things so that's not music but that's something that kind of attracts people to find out like more about a person if they see certain layers or see certain things that are not right. Um, so I thought he was like a little off, but you know, that feeds into his personality as an artist. So you might pass it off as, oh, he's a deep thinker or whatever you want to say. He's super deep, right? But then, hmm. Like, I always liked Jada, right? 
I always liked Jada um, because she was in Set It Off. She was in Wu. She was in a lot of movies. She was in Low Down Dirty Shame. Um, she has her own. She was in a different world, you know. I liked her from then. I always thought she was smart. She was beautiful. She was um like the kind of girl you want to marry. Like she's the marrying type. So I wasn't surprised when Will Smith decided to, you know, marry her. Um, the thing about it is, Black Hollywood is a little different. So it's certain things that Black Hollywood adapts just to kind of get along and mix in with maybe a bigger white crowd in terms of what Hollywood offers as opportunities and things. So there's certain things that they do. Um, they, they dabbled in Scientology at one point. I think it's because other couples or celebrity couples were doing that too. Like J-Lo and Mark Anthony and there's a, there's a Tom and Kate when he was with her. I think her name is Kate. Katie Holmes, I guess. Um, but I saw a story today, and the story um, was about August Alcina admitting to a relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. But what got me was he said that Will Smith was okay with it. He said that Will Smith co-signed it. He had a conversation. He had Will Smith's blessing. Hmm. What do I do with that? I mean, if you have a married couple, married under the eyes of God, then you have this breakdown of maybe a marriage, but they didn't want to divorce. Will is with who he's with, whoever he's with, whatever rumors he's alleged to be involved with. Then you got Jada, whoever she's with. It almost kind of contradicts a lot of the positivity that they put out into the world because besides all the drama that you can't really prove, you don't know if it's factual, but what you do see that is factual is that the Smiths give a lot of positive information. They give a lot of spiritual consciousness that the black community needs along with the rest of the world. So what they put out into the world is such a positive thing. I think that August Alcina telling people about his relationship with Jada Pickett Smith, which is one sided because I don't know if she would actually, you know, decide to talk about it openly in public on a red table, whatever she likes to um, express herself. I think that he did a song called, uh, let's see, Nanya, and he talks about an actress, but he calls her Corinne, K-O-R-E-N, which is Jada Pinkett Smith's middle name. So right there, he's expressing publicly what they had going on privately, which is to me a disrespect. It's, um, it's kind of like if they were together secretly, and they broke up, it should have stayed that way because it slowly dismantles the positivity that the Smiths put out into the world. I mean, people are celebrities, but people all shit. <laughs> you know, so it's they could be better considering that People kind of look at image. People might feel someone's better than someone else. But at the end of the day, everybody is equal. And God has no respecter of persons. So, it's weird to 
not have any evidence, but then the only kind of inkling or thing that you could hear is from an R&B singer who is not that successful, I don't believe, but he's basically telling and kissing and telling, which is weird. I mean, guys don't need to kiss and tell. If he was with her and they broke up, that's fine. But don't put her in a song where people are obviously going to know who you're talking about. People are obviously going to believe like you that might be fans of him, and, but you don't hear the other side. I mean, I just feel like it's kind of disrespectful because he kind of got in there through Jaden. And I don't know if it's smart for Jada, even her brand, to be actually considered someone that would do that. Especially someone that talks about marriage and relationships all the time. Always working um, on her relationship with Will Smith. And Will Smith is definitely one of my favorite actors ever. And that will never change no matter what they do. But August Alcina is feeding into this Hollywood machine where he feels like he has to tell this secret. Now, if Jada wanted to expose it, that's fine with me because she had more to lose in the situation. All you did was maybe have sex with her or be with her or feel deeply connected, but she got a whole family and she got a whole community of people that kind of respect and revere her. And the thing about Jada, she speaks so well, she like pulls you in. She has this ability to get to the intimate parts of people that they don't show. And she's able to allow them to feel comfortable enough to show that on camera and be themselves. But it's disrespectful, I believe, to break up with somebody. Maybe August Alcina was mad about the breakup. He didn't like um, not being in that mix anymore. So he decided to say something subliminally, but it wasn't that subliminal because he mentioned her middle name and talked about an actress in a song, but that didn't chart, you know. I think he should worry about his music career and try to focus on that and his mental health. He's, he did credit uh, Jada Pinkett Smith as helping him with his Percocet addiction. So he did have some addictions that might be hampering his music career. But besides that, this is not a way to get attention with it. Um, I don't like hearing that Will Smith, I could, it's like I want to think about how that went. Like what happened? Like he walked into like the backyard and was like, hey, what's up, Will? How you doing? Hey, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that I run this by you. Um, you know that me and Jada got a thing, right? And I just want to know, is it okay if I smash and I emotionally dive into her, her, her consciousness? <laughs> I mean, I think that Will Smith's reaction would be Kind of like when he was on the red carpet and there was this prankster guy, I forgot his name, but he would go on uh, different red carpets and then he would accost the celebrity and he would try to kiss them. So this guy tried to lean in and kiss Will Smith on a red carpet like a couple of years ago. And then so when he kissed him or tried to, Will Smith immediately was about to lay hands on the man and Will Smith totally forgot where he was at the time. So that was my first time seeing Will be aggressive towards someone else because he's usually expressing love and all of that. But that was my first time seeing Will Smith like look like he about to like fuck somebody up. Like and it was 
it was it was funny to me, but I could see this. This is Will Smith has two sides. Like he has America's America's uh, best friend, um, America's dad. You could say I didn't want to say America's dad because I was thinking about Bill Cosby. But hey, you know if the shoe fits, you know so. The thing about Will Smith, he has two sides. He got this nice, happy side. But that was the first time I see him, like, have an attitude. Um, look like he wasn't playing. Like, he looked like Muhammad Ali in that moment. Like, the character he played. And I just couldn't imagine that a nigga say, I want to smash your wife in your house, possibly. I want to be close to your kids. And I want you to be okay with that. Who would do that? Who would do that? I mean, part of me feels like is I want to say is I believe, even though this video, I'm kind of like dismantling August L. Cena, and you might think that's dissing him. I'm just trying to find out the scenario and try to examine if it's factual or not. But kind of, I, I believe kind of that August L. Cena might be 60 to 70 percent correct like i'm I, I might believe that he did have an affair with jada picky smith because he's writing about it he must be heard about it because the thing about this when you talk of a breakup you talk to your friends but the fact that he knows how big jada and will are and they haven't had any proof proof where people saw pictures, they still don't. They ain't got videos that people have seen. If they're all this freaky couple, like everybody says, not everybody, a lot of people say. Um, it wouldn't be so, you know, hidden all these years. But then the, the closest thing you have is somebody that was in your house. Somebody that had mental issues or instability. Somebody that had drug issues. Um, this could have all been a delusion in his mind about the friendship or relating to Jada Pinkett Smith as a, as a help to his life. This could be all a figment of his imagination, but I just don't believe it. I feel like he's a jilted lover and... Now that jilted lover is talking and able to express himself in a way that kind of paints the Smiths in a light that they've already been accused of, you know, being in and enjoying and having this separate open relationship, but publicly together. Um, it's like he's exposing Jada Pickett. If he loved her so much, he's exposing her. And the reason why I believe most of it is because, not because of old rumors. I just believe that for somebody to talk, knowing that it could hurt her later and his family, it could hurt Will Smith's brand. You know, if, you know, rumors are one thing, but you got somebody that's willing to speak about certain experiences that make the Smiths as a whole look reckless and negative. They don't carry that positivity in the same sentence as Jada was sleeping with somebody else and Will Smith agreed. That Will Smith agreed part was the real kicker to me. Like he agreed to you having an affair and smashing his wife. That you're child brought into your life that part kind of bothers me more so because 
Will Smith, I don't believe, would do that. That's why I don't believe his whole story fully. Um, and I don't respect that he's talking about it. I don't. I don't respect that August Alcina is, is talking about Jada Pickett Smith and his relationship if there was a relationship. Because you're already gonna wonder, is it if? Um, because they have a they have a staple. Like when you build a house, you build a foundation. They have two houses. <laughs> as far as what I'm gonna to explain to you now, they have two houses with two foundations. One foundation is a public house. It's their Hollywood house. And the Hollywood house was built on love and this commitment towards each other and this finding enlightenment, living your best life. That's the foundation of that. But then you have the Romer House Foundation. They have another house on the property. The foundation is riddled with rumors. They were in open relationships. They went to swing. They were swingers. They were Scientologists. They were, um, they allowed the kids to be crazy and do anything they want. Um, that's the house that is filled with rumors and that is the foundation that that's built on. But what August Hasina did was he didn't put a brick on the positive Hollywood house with the good foundation, the good public image. Red Table Talk, Will Smith's Bad Boys 3, all the good accomplishments that they've had, the lovingness that they show to the world is in that house, in that foundation. But then you have the Rumor House Foundation and the previous rumors for many years, black hobby, that includes black couples have to be something wrong with them. They can be a black couple and be great. That goes in the negative Rumor House. August Alcina put a fucking brick and cemented it on the foundation of the rumor house by exposing an alleged relationship with Jada Pickett Smith. Then he put another brick that's separate. This brick is Will Smith was okay with it. Will Smith is okay with you smashing his wife and your son brought him into this, this fold. I don't believe it. I don't believe that part of it. I just don't believe that Will Smith would sit there and be like, okay, that's cool. You know, I ain't got to do it. I mean, I don't understand. Will Smith and, and Jada's been married for over 20 years. Um, marriages come with a lot of issues and problems, but you definitely have a, a big um, mountain to climb being married, but then I don't believe that Will Smith would just allow this to happen or it would be a business arrangement or a conversation. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it all the way. The part I do believe is that if something did happen, it's, it's a strong possibility that he did have an a, affair with Jada Pinkett Smith. But I don't want to believe that because of the strength of what Jada Pinkett Smith has built over the years. Her as a person, I believe that she has set aside some type of um, unforeseen affinity for danger. Um, I believe the love of her life was Tupac Shakur. I believe that Tupac was the love of her life and Will Smith was the polar opposite. But Will Smith was st st stable and Will, and Will Smith had the ability that Tupac didn't have and that ability was to stay alive, to create a family, to create a life. Will Smith had that over Tupac. But I think if she did have any affair with August Alcina, I think that was out of her affinity for danger. Her affinity for having somebody considered a bad boy. 
Tupac was considered a bad boy. August L. Cena is considered a bad boy. So that makes me believe 70% of August L. Cena claim that they was together, but that doesn't mean that I agree that he should have spoke about it. It should have been a well-kept secret if they were going to be a couple and then they broke up, they should have left that alone. They should have left that alone. So you let me know what you think. Do you agree and believe that Alex Alcina had an affair with Jada Pinkett Smith? Do you believe, though, the kicker is Will Smith co-signed this and thought it was okay or he approved this? Would you go to the boss? Because Will Smith is the boss. So you're the employee. So <laughs> you you damn nigga, you you really had to be like did you have goons with you when you asked Will Smith? Because I believe that he would not co sign this. I just don't believe that. I don't believe that. But you said it out of your your statements that Will Smith did. So you throwing Jada and Will under the bus. So, you let me know. My name is Darrell. Hit me up on my social media handles. Please hit like and subscribe. Um, I have a book out called The Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment. It's the best book you'll ever read. And I also have a book called Scared of Light, which is a series. Available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. But go to my website if you want to lock it in. Go to my website. So I do have... Um, some promotion on it on this video about it but other than that my website is scareofthelight.com and I'm waiting for your response and I'll talk to you later peace